Hi, I'm Fabio Gentile. I'm professor of political science at Federal University of Ceará, Brazil. I have the pleasure to present my uh, research focusing the um, creative appropriation of fascism and corporatism in Brazil and under Getulio Vargas. This is a long time reflection about this topic. Theoretical and methodological basis of my research. Uh, my research is part of the debate about Latin American social political thought. Focusing uh, Brazilian thought like political ideological laboratory, open to new method methodologies and interpretative categories. The debate on the transnational and transatlantic networks between Europe and Latin America, the problem of creative appropriation of European and North American models in Latin America and focusing Brazil in special way. From theory to thought and back again, it's a two-end way. Networks crossing borders between Europe, United States and Latin America. Thinking Latin America and Brazil in a specific way in the process of a circulation of ideas between the second half of the 19th century and the first half of the 20th century towards the creation of networks crossing borders, connecting theory produced in the center, Europe and United States, with thought produced in the periphery, Latin America. Getting over the theory of Latin America as a mere, mere reproducer of models. This is, uh, this is a, a, still again a problem of, still now, the problem of the ghost of the peripheral condition of Latin America. And with this uh, theoretical and methodological perspectives that I focus the, uh, the a case of study, as I told, a long reflection uh, research. Fascism and the corporatism, third way process of creative appropriation in the Vargas era. The concept of fascism in Brazilian social science, it's a really controversial issue. Here are some of the reasons. First of all, uh, the building, building the myth of the Vargas era, the reaction of the fascist totalitarianism in the building of the, of the uh, revolution of Turkey and the Brazilian authoritarianism, authoritarian and corporativist state. The contribution of Gino Germani and this reception in, Bra in Brazilian social science, the difference and, uh, between the fascist totalitarianism state and the mass mobilization and model of populism and authoritarianism state in Latin America. The contribution of juridical studies, corporatism, corporatism and social rights, the contribution of historians, fascism and the Vargas era, uh, political science, the focus, the main focus on the transition from dictatorship to democracy in the, in the 18. Uses and abuses of fascism after Bolsonaro victory. There is no consent about the periodization of Vargas era. We could use a periodization that comes from the Third Revolution to the suicide of Vargas in 54. 
the choice is justified because the appropriation of fascism and the corporatism, corporatism is a complex and a gradual process, not limited only to Estado Novo, going over the Estado Novo, and whose origins will be identified in the formation of an authoritarian thought in the First Republic. Starting questions. How and by what source do fascist corporatism idea, ideas and social question and social question, social nationalism, Stato Nazionale del Lavoro, category, collective, contract, uh, job justice, corporation, single trade union, produttori della nazione, technical councils, circulated in Brazil between the the 20s and 30s, how and in which way did the intellectuals and jurists, Vargas, Vargas Corporative States building collabor collaborators receive, receive Alfredo Rocco model, modifying and adapting it in a compatible, compatible way with the Brazilian reality? These questions are very complex because they place two funda fundamental problems. The first problem concerns the different projects of state in which corporatism has been harmonized. If in the case of the fascist state, Alfredo Rocco thought uh, of a corporate organization subject to the strict control of the totalitarian party state, in the Brazilian case, on the contrary, corporatism was harmonized with an authoritarian regime. The option of a single party rejected, uh, and this, this regime is based on the leadership of the president. The second question is about the different economic and social le levels of the agro-export dependent country with a still embryonic working class, the Italian corporate model elaborated for a country that since the second half of the 19th century had taken the path of industrialization, even incorporating the capital labor conflict typical of an advanced industrial society. Uh, here, uh, some starting hypotheses. Analysis of Quan Lin's see the fascism as a latecomer, typical of the 20th century. Robert Paxton, comparative historical perspective, aiming to think fascism and authoritarianism in action between the two world wars. Uh, the social analysis of Michael Mann, which places fascism in the heart of 20th century modernity. The transnational and transatlantic, transatlantic circulation of ideas, aiming to understand how fascist ideas circulated and were assimilated in different national contexts. Uh, we think uh, in the work of uh, Griffin, Yordashi, Callis, Costa Pinto, Finkelstein. In this perspective, corporativism uh, becomes a special field of analysis to give a more dynamic idea of the fascist wave because it was the deeper essence of the new state through the formula of the third way, revolutionary, between liberalism and socialism. The convergence of these approaches with the theory of late development allows, allows us to think that the economic peripheral countries were attracted by the national authoritarian and corporate politics, politics of fascism, elaborate, elaborated in that age as the most modern uh, model of uh, reorganization of relationship between capitalism, capitalism, state and society, alternative to liberalism and socialism. From Rocco to Vienna, through Manuelesco, one of the main theoretical founda foundations of this vision was the concept of integral and pure corporatism, 
by the Romanian economist and the politi politician Mihail Manuelescu, elaborated according to the different economic and political levels of each country to solve both the economic crisis of advanced areas as well as to assist the industrial takeoff of the periphery of capitalism. Based on the idea that the peripheral nations of capitalism could break the semi-colonial dependence, Manuelescu thinks that the, impl the implantation of a strong state able to organize all national resources in order to starting necessary and irreversible transformation from agrar agrarian society to industrial society. Although the working masses of the periphery of capitalism had not, had not yet reached a level, a level of organization and class con consciousness comparable to, the, to that of the more industrialized countries. In this area, too, the transition to the industrial age dominated by organization and technique had to be helped by a preventive pol policy, policy organic to capitalist centralization of incorporation of the still embryonic working class into the state in order to prevent the reproduction of the class conflict of European society during the First World War. In this perspective, fascist corporatism uh, in its multiple dimensions of juridical cat cataloging of the social, economic dirigism, nation building and harmonization of the capital labor conflict fitted perfectly into Getulio Vargas national developmentalist authoritarian and state centric project of corporate modernization of the Brazilian society between the two world wars. Based on this uh, methodological and theoretical approach, uh, the, the, the research is divided in three, in three parts. In the first part, I uh, aim to analyze uh, the Brazilian right in Brazil First Republic as a laboratory. Uh, the national authoritarian thought, the Catholics, the integralism and tenantism. In second part, I analyze the circulation of fascist and the corporatist idea uh, right after the 30th revolution, focusing my attention on Oliveira Vian and especially the doctrine of national syndicalism and uh, the elaboration of uh, one of the most important theoretical theorists of uh, Italian uh, syndicalism uh, as Sergio Pannunzio. Uh, color uh, Vargas and uh, uh, the concept of trabalismo uh, as a category uh, that can uh, uh, analyze the revolution of, of, of the thirty. Uh, the Revista do Trabalho as a laboratory of ideas for the Brazilian paid to the authoritarian and the corporatist state. And fan finally, the Estado Novo uh, as, uh, that was uh, thinked uh, as authoritarian third way between totalitarianism as the fascism and communism and uh, liberal democracy. Uh, this part is divided in three points from the 37 constitution to the CLT, Consolidation of Labor Laws. It was a sophisticated legal social engineering. Uh, going over the model, uh, corporate, uh, Italian uh, model of corporatism, uh, and focusing the uh, appropriation that Oliveira Viana uh, made of Italian, um, Italian uh, tradition, uh, legal tradition, and, uh, and uh, of Manuelescu. 
and uh, going over this Stato Novo, analyzing the category of trabalhismo and what remains of the uh, Estado Novo experience uh, in the foundation of social organic democracy in Brazil of 50 and 60. 